When looking at the reproductive system of the female cat, uh, it's important to keep in mind just where everything is situated. So I'll keep everything in situ first, and then we'll uh, remove it and take a look at some of those structures. Uh, you'll see that the urinary bladder sits on top, and for our purposes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift it away so you can see uh, exactly what I'm talking about uh, a little bit better. We're going to see, first of all, the ovary itself is going to be sitting right here looks like a little grain of rice that's going to be encompassed by fimbrae. Fimbrae are finger-like structures that are going to lead down the oviduct itself. Okay, so we have those, we also call these fallopian tubes, but basically it's important to see that there is actually a, a small gap. If I take a look at the ovary, there's a small gap in between where the ovary is and where the fallopian tube is. Now these are anchored in place by a special kind of tissue called endometrium. And what we're going to find is that it actually, that endometrium is going to hold the entire fallopian tube or the entire reproductive tract in place and secure it to the body wall. I've removed it for uh, the purposes of the dissection. Now this is the cat's left. So this is the left fallopian tube, this is the right. And as it comes down here, uh, you'll also refer to it, see referred to as the oviduct you'll see that it'll actually come into this region, basically right here on either side. And this is the uterus of the cat. Now cats are different in that they'll secrete, uh, or give off many eggs at once, and you'll have multiple fertilizations. Those eggs will actually implant within the uterine tube here rather than the uterus itself. So that's one difference between the human and the cat is where the egg actually implants. We've had several uh, pregnant cats and you'll see that these will be a lot more swollen. Uh, the ovaries themselves look tiny compared to the rest of the ductwork. So these would be the horns of the uterus. Okay, the, This would be the left horn and this would be the right horn of the cat, of the uterus of the cat. Here's the uterus itself and basically right at this point I've actually dissected this so the entire system comes out The uterus itself is a, a, a Y-shaped structure, like this, and then you'll see a very distinct change and feel a very distinct change in the chamber itself. And that is where the vagina of the cat would be found. At the base, here's the, where the cervix would be, and here's where the vagina would be. Notice that the urethra of the urinary bladder will sit right on top. The urethra will sit right on top of the vagina so it gives it the appearance of one tube, but it's actually two tubes very closely tied to one another. 